Okay, what's going on guys? So I'm making another video here. Uh, like I said in my last video, I was going to make a video about the fully updated version of Multiman. So here it is, uh, Multiman version 4.85. Uh, the reason why it's called 4.85 is I believe there's a 4.85 firmware out. Uh, it's called a hybrid firmware. So it's like official firmware and custom firmware at the same time. It's used with PS3 Hen. Uh, this Multiman is compatible with that and everything below, which would be the 4.84 custom firmwares. So all you're going to need is a thumb drive and a PC, and then obviously your PS3 either running um, PS3 Hen or custom firmware. This is also compatible with um, the CEX and DEX based custom firmwares. So So you don't need to worry about any miscompatibility. So uh, what you're going to do is plug in a USB thumb drive. Uh, preferably, I, I like using a gigabyte, <clears throat> or at least, well, at least a gigabyte. Uh, but I mean, mine's like 16, I think, or something like that. But uh, all you're going to do is download the file from the link below in the description, uh, and you will get the Multiman 4.85 and just copy that over to the thumb drive. Once you do that, you don't have to do anything else. You can just unplug your USB, and we're going to go to the PS3 and update and install the Multiman. Alrighty, so here we are at the PS3, and uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're just going to pop your USB into the USB port of the PlayStation 3, and uh, if you're running PS3 Hen, you're going to need to reactivate it if it was a hard reboot. Uh, if you have custom firmware CEX or DEX base, you're just going to need to go to your packages manager. So I'm just going to scroll up to my package manager and go down to install package. Open that up and you're going to install from the standard, uh, from the root of the storage device because that's where we put the uh, Multiman 4.85. We're going to open that up and you're going to see the base right there, PKG. Just hit X on that and install going to do its thing. Give it a couple seconds. <laughs> there we go. That's done. Hit circle to complete. And now I'm just going to scroll down here to my backup managers and open this up. And you'll see my multi-man. I'm going to hit triangle on this and go down to the information. And it's 4.85 for the version. Now, if you have Stealth Multiman installed, this will update to a Stealth version, but it is still recommended to take the necessary measures if you're still playing on PSN with a modded PS3. Uh, FYI. So uh, I will go over that in another video. Um, this PlayStation that I'm using actually is already banned uh, because I wasn't lucky enough to have that exist when I was playing online with a modded PS3. So, but without further ado, let's boot up the Multiman and go through with that. Okay. Multiman is with you for almost 10 years. Please support us with a small donation. Installing Multiman CM data to the internal HDD. And uh, let's see, apply standard theme, and that should be good to go. If you're updating from an older version of Multiman, uh, you might get the four uh, question things about the user license agreement. Just hit X and yes on all of those, and then you will be brought to the screen. And that's how you install and update the latest Multiman. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Again, the link will be below in the description and more videos to come. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.